Shalom Daniel and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to inspiration, uh, information, education, guidance, advice, and I want to continue uh, in my series of stories with respect to um, the seer of Lublin. This would be Yaakov Yitzhak Halevi Horowitz, the seer of Lublin, the Jose of Lublin. And I, in a previous video, talked uh, about the, the seer of Lublin, um, commenting about uh, one way, the one true way to follow God. And he says, it's impossible to say. I want to take a different tack. This is a, a story with respect to the many ways of finding God, of serving God. These two Hasidim, these two uh, Hasidic guys, uh, their Rebbe had passed away. So they decided to go to see um, the seer of Lublin. His reputation was getting known. He says, well, maybe we should go there. Maybe he'd be good for us. So they get there at the evening of uh, the new moon. The, the new moon that it's absolutely, you can't see it. And at the first little sliver of the new moon, you make the Kiddush Levona, the, 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 the blessing of a new moon, which is done outside, looking at the moon. So they get there, and uh, the seer of uh, Lublin is outside doing the, the blessing for the new moon, but he's doing it in a way that these uh, young men found a little odd. He did it slightly different in some details, and it was uh, not, uh, not what they were used to, not, certainly not what they were taught. And they said to themselves, you know what, maybe this was a mistake. I don't think we should hang around here. Uh, too much longer, or we're going to pick up some bad habits or different ways that are not right. And they decided that they were going to leave the next day. But they went to the rabbi's house after after shul, and they get to his house. He had never met them before. Um, they knock on the door. The seer of Lublin, um, uh, Harav uh, Yaakov Yitzhak, greets them. And uh, immediately says to them, um, a God whom one could serve only in one set way. What kind of God is that? Completely out of the blue. But these words penetrated their heart. A God that can only be served in one set specific way. What kind of God is that? And uh, they changed their mind. And they decided to stay a little longer, and a little longer, and a little longer, and they ended up becoming disciples of the seer of Lublin. We're going to be doing more uh, stories of the great uh, Hasidic masters of the past. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.